Hey friends, I am Catherine and today I'm feeling like making another fold over bookmark and I want to do one shaped like a parrot. So I've got some red cardstock here that is roughly the size and shape of a bookmark. It's not getting too complicated about it. Didn't measure it or anything. I've just got a piece of scrap red and um, I am going to use a red uh, colored pencil to outline my parrot. So let's start by folding his head over. That way we've got a crease. And then let's do just a sort of round shaped head. Not being too complicated about it. Sort of round head and then parrots Faces come in at the eyes and out at the cheeks. So kind of like, kind of like a really fat violin. In at the eyes and out at the cheeks. And there we go. Sort of like a really fat violin and that'll be his head. Then we will flip that up and come down for the body and we will come down a ways and out to our very edges and then in at a sharp-ish angle. So like there, out to the edge and then in at a sharpish angle. And then that would round off for the bottom of the parrot's body, but he's also got a tail. And I like parrot's tails to just kind of curve to one side a bit. So we're going to draw it curved to the side. I know, very complicated business. Um, and I think that's everything for the head and the shape of the body. So let's grab our scissors and get to cutting. We've outlined our work and now we are going to make it a reality. Um, there we go. And then sort of like that. And like that and I know what you're thinking this is not looking very much like a parrot well give it give it a second will you it will when I'm done probably that or it won't one or the other I mean it's got to be one or the other right either it'll look like a parrot or it won't go and something like that and now that I've cut it out, you can see that kind of violin shape that I was talking about in at the sides, out at the top and bottom. There we go, something like that. And then back over to the other side and curving out and then turn and curving in and kind of ledge a little bit right before the tail and then tail. And we'll just kind of, there we go, something like that. That sort of shaped like a parrot. There's his head. And now you may say, well, that head's way too low for the body, but if you do, then you've never known a parrot because parrots will totally do that. Duck their heads way down and then slowly creep them way forward when they think you're not looking so that they can try and steal the food off of your plate or out of your mouth. Ah, I, yes, I have met parrots before. Um, then let's grab a bit of yellow and just cut off an edge, something like that to work with and then give him a big old beak and the beak is going to basically be a teardrop 
teardrop shape because hookbill parrots, when seen from the front, just sort of have like a teardrop shaped beak. There we go. And that might be a little too big. Might be a little too big. That might be a little exaggerated. Let's just rein that in a bit. There we go. Something like that, maybe. That might be closer to what we're looking for. Okay, yeah, there we go. That works. Uh, glue. I did not get out glue before I started this. That's okay. Uh, ah, there we go, glue stick. That'll work. Put glue on the back. And stick it on. Okay. Actually, I want to curve that in more. I don't like how square the top of the head ends up. You just. There we go. That's more like it. That's better. Okay, we're going to need to not mess up that glue stick too badly. We're going to still need it. Um, but there we go. Head's looking better now. And then let's grab some green and do like a wavy curve sort of thing. I'm going to want to draw this one out because I'm going to want it to be sort of like that long and like that like that long and like that i just held it up to it and imagined what i needed which i know isn't very scientific but we'll get the job done all right let's cut it out in the wave And that gives me one. And then flip it over and trace it. There we are. Okay. And that'll give me two. I need two of them because that's what's going to separate the wing from the rest of the body. It's going to be the, like, the inside of the wing, like, just peeping out. There we go. And like that. Trim that off and then... From along there and I have two green lines that will make it look like I've I've actually put wings into it see and that's the thing I don't have to actually put wings on it I just have to make it look like I've put wings on it go right there and leaning out more towards the bottom and then just mirror that to the other side. Hopefully. Sort of even-ish, maybe. Kind of. There we are. Okay, and then that's the impression of wings. And then... I think a little bit more yellow for the feet, but I'm not going to get too complicated on that either. Just going to do this piece and actually I'll fold it over first. That way I can get two similar enough feet out of it and they're just going to be sort of round and maybe with like a curve up in the bottom so that they give the impression of toes. There we go. 
All right, two feet made and stuck on. Go something like that, and then, then I want to grab a bit of white, and I have this tiny strip of white, which is going to be plenty enough, and I want to cut two tiny pieces off of it. Doesn't take much, and then cut sort of roundish ovalish things out of that well more like football shaped things actually sort of footballish shaped things out of those squares there we go football shaped things those are going to be the eyes well those are going to be the skin around the eyes um which will go right there, right to the edge, because birds' eyes are on the sides of their heads rather than on the front. And you'll want to position your eyes accordingly. This one needs to be a little bit smaller. There we have it to the side and then tiny bits of black, black and there we go. For the actual eyes. Again, outward and to the side and sort of slanted a little bit, maybe. We'll see how it goes. And kind of like there. All right, he's coming along and looking a little angry. Awesome. And then Let's see, I want some, I want him to have a crest. He needs to have some feathers on the top of his head. So let's pull out some red and cut some feather shapes from it. Actually, let's cut off a strip real quick and fold it to about the length that we want the feathers to be. Something like that and then cut them all at once. So these are going to be sort of like elongated football teardrop, not teardrop because they're not round, uh, elongated football pointed. They're gonna be feathers. They're gonna be feather shaped. There we go. All right, some feathers. Okay. And then glue those on. Glue on the back and stick it on and to the side a little bit. And then the next one over the top of the first one and slightly less to the side. go and then one more in front of that and even less to the side and our parrot has a crest sweet and we've got an extra feather left over 
set that aside and use it for something else later, maybe. I still still feel like he's missing something, though. Maybe, maybe his tail should get a little bit of definition from the green, too. Yeah, let's do a sort of triangle curve. Like, kind of like a heart-shaped thing, maybe. And then round it. And set that on and see how that... Yeah, I like that. That is going to be our finishing touch. And once we've glued it on, that is a parrot fold-over bookmark. Go. There we have it. One fold over bookmark that looks like a parrot. What do you think? I kind of like him. Well, I really like him actually. I would be happy to hear what you think of him though. And I would be happy to know if you are trying these foldover bookmarks or if you like them, because I like them a lot. Um, I'm very pleased with how they're turning out and I would happy to hear if you are as well. Let me know down in the comments below and remember to subscribe and I'm putting up new videos every day so there's always something new to see. I will see you all and tomorrow. Bye!